Hey all and welcome! I'm June and this is a video tour of the Samsung Galaxy S2. This is the T-Mobile version. This phone has some major differences to the AT&T and Sprint and the international versions of the Galaxy S2. But this is actually quite similar to the international Samsung Galaxy LTE that was demoed in Europe and uh, Korea. First of all, what's similar about this to the Galaxy LTE is the design. The form factor actually looks very similar. Um, they both have these curved edges. Uh, it does not have the, well this phone doesn't have the button like the international Galaxy phones do. But it has the same um, form factor and both of them have the Qualcomm Snapdragon to dual core 1.5 GHz CPU. So that's uh, very similar. Whereas the AT&T Sprint and the international Galaxy S2 have the 1.2 GHz Exynos processors. Okay, so let's get that out of the way and let's go right into the phone. When you look at the phone, the first thing you'll notice is the large 4.52 inch display. It is Super AMOLED Plus. It's a beautiful screen. The colors do look very clear and when you switch the screen on, it looks like it's right there, right behind the glass and it's really, really good, really pleasant, really great uh, screen to look at. And you have the speaker here for the earpiece. There's a light proximity sensor and a light and proximity sensor on the left of that. And you have the 2 megapixel camera on that side too. And actually the 2 megapixel camera does a really great job of uh, capturing your face. So, so if you're into Skype video chat or any other video chat uh, programs, it does a fantastic job. The bottom, you have the four capacitive buttons uh, that you typically found on Android phones. And on the left side, you have the volume rocker. You have the, on top, you have the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. You have the power button on the right side. So when you hold it, it's right there on your thumb. The bottom, you have the micro USB jack as well. Okay, on the back, you'll be seeing the 8.8 .8 megapixel camera. It does a really great job in taking photos capable of full HD video uh, recording and you have the speaker on the bottom. Actually it's a pretty decent speaker and uh, music can play pretty loud. And you have the Galaxy S2 logo right there. One thing you'll notice is when you play with this phone the cool thing is the design first of all it really looks nice. It looks really premium. Feels pretty premium. It's light and it feels really good. Um, it has this smooth metallic bezel around the phone and it's really smooth so when your fingers touch it it's really very I won't say slippery but you can feel like it, if the whole phone was made of this it would fall out but on the back it has this rubbery textured finish so actually it looks it complements each other so it has this really cool smooth uh, bezel and on the back it has this kind of grippy uh, texture to hold on to so that is a really good way of making the phone look good and keeping the quality and just feels nice. Let's put it that way. I'm going to go over some quick specs of the phone as we get into it. This phone does come with a 1850 mAh battery. Uh, it does have the Qualcomm 1.5 GHz dual core processor and it has 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage memory and also has a slot for micro SD up to 32 GB. And it's a 4G capable phone up to 42.2 megabits per second. Okay, so when you look at the phone and you switch it on, you have TouchWiz uh, 4.0. You just slide the screen off and you'll be welcome to the home screen. Um, everything really runs very smooth, very sippy. The, the phone comes with this um, scratch resistant uh, Gorilla Glass. And it's uh, really great and it's very smooth and it feels really nice to play with this phone. Uh, the colors are vibrant. Right now it is on the auto brightness and this isn't the full brightness and it looks really bright already so it feels nice. It's a very pleasant experience. And TouchWiz 4.0 is the skin over Android OS. So if you want to go into settings, look at about phone. Um, this phone comes with Android OS 2.3.5. It is uh, the latest one out there. Uh, and uh, 
for uh, other Google phones, Android phones. Um, I think 2.3.7 was out for Nexus S, but for other phones, this is the most current one. And this is Touch uh, Wiz 4.0. Everything feels really smooth. I mean, menu, phone, and just going from page to page. Even using the feature where you can just go through multiple screens at once feels very zippy. Um, if you pinch out, you go to the multiple home screen display. And we can go into the internet. I can show you how the web browser does. Here we have uh, Google opened up. One of the taxing ones I noticed is uh, we can go to Phone Arena, which I noticed on other um, Android phones has a hard time keeping up with um, the smoothness and just keeping everything in uh, in view. So here it's loading up. The 4G is really fast, um, really big step up from 3G, and it's still loading, and it's still loading, and you can just like scroll up and down and it's really smooth and I think that's a great experience and that's kind of what you want from your phones um, as you upgrade or look for better phones out there you want the web experience to be great so definitely feels good and also you can go into landscape mode and that's also just as good and having a four and a half inch uh, screen really really helps because Everything just is right there in front of you compared to maybe a 3.8 inch or 4 inch uh, display. 4.5 really feels good. I was concerned about the size being too big. But actually, it feels good. It feels actually better than having a smaller screen. Um, I know the Samsung Note came out. I'm not sure how that's going to feel, but I know that's a really big screen out there. Oh, and also you can have multiple windows. I think, I'm not sure what the limit is. But I heard that it goes up to 16 in, 16 screens, or maybe not. Maybe you can keep going to as many as the memory can handle. Okay. Um, other softwares on this that run really good. Um, YouTube runs great. Uh, every program just loads up really fast. If you go to Google Maps, it just loads up instantaneously. And it's always a pleasure to use this phone with any software out there. Uh, it comes pre-installed with 401 and more, all share, um, uh, T-Mobile software such as bonus apps and so forth, and comes with Samsung's Media Hub. You can buy movies, rent movies, and do all that good stuff. So, if you're into watching a lot of stuff in your phone, that's the one thing you can check out. To wrap up the video tour of the Galaxy S2, uh, the T-Mobile version, I have to say this phone has been a great experience. The fast 4G, the amazing Super AMOLED Plus screen, and just having that dual core CPU in here feels really good. Even sometimes you notice that tiny uh, lag or whatever it is, it does, shouldn't hesitate you from even uh, considering this phone. It's really zippy. So the program has been really great. And one reason why I could think of why maybe it's not um, as zippy as maybe an Exynos processor on this phone is maybe because um, for TouchWiz 4.0 was optimized or supposedly optimized for the Exynos processor. But this does have the latest technology in there. It does have the new Qualcomm 1.5 GHz CPU. That's also found on the Galaxy LTE version of uh, the phone. Uh, it has a big 4.52 inch screen so watching videos, playing games is always uh, a pleasure. And Everything is smooth. It's really not really a problem about speed with this phone. Everything is really great. The internet, web browsing, it feels really good on this size screen. And everything is just so nice and zippy. And it feels nice to use this phone. Uh, the other thing is, I know the Nexus Galaxy is coming out soon. And people may be waiting for that, but it's really a matter of preference. This phone will get the 4.0 update eventually but uh, Samsung did announce that and, and I don't know if it's rumor or if it's true but that has been announced um, so this will get that and it actually has features that are um, I would consider better than the Galaxy um, the Nexus Galaxy it, this phone does have the 2 megapixel front facing camera it has the 8 megapixel uh, camera on the back with flash um, 
The Super AMOLED Plus is always, I mean, for me, considering the color production is really amazing. The, the uh, what's it called? The Super AMOLED um, screen, the HD, Super AMOLED HD on the Nexus Galaxy, it will not be able to produce this many colors. It may have a higher resolution, but will not be able to produce um, such colors as on the Super AMOLED Plus. So, in general, this phone is really great. I think if you're considering getting a really top phone that's easy to use, everything is right there in front of you. This is a great contender, and everything feels super smooth. Everything is good. I love that sound that the phone makes when you go in and out. A little click, always fine. And for typing, text messaging, everything is great because of the large screen as well. So if you're looking for a new phone, want something that has new technology, and uh, you don't mind, you, you, maybe you're looking for staying in T-Mobile or you want to go to T-Mobile or anything like that, this is a great phone to pick up. It feels good. Um, the Exynos processor may be faster. I'm not even sure. I can't even really weigh that. Even though they have benchmarks online, whatnot, TouchWiz is optimized for the Exynos processor. So my experience, great phone to use. Uh, it's fun to use. So if you have any questions, comments, just review, uh, um, put it up on the YouTube page. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.